welcome back to the channel today i'm going to show you how i built a shoe rack bench and coat rack let's get into it a few quick measurements will get us started then we can start building our plans making a list and seeing uh, who's naughty or not. I mean, what we need to buy. The entertainment center was built with two by sixes, two by eights and four by fours. The coffee table, two by sixes and one by ones. I wanna use two by fours and one bys on this one. I don't need it as hefty as the entertainment center, but I want it a little more sturdy than the coffee table. Let's get some wood. These are 10 foot boards. Uh, it works going out the window like this. I wouldn't do much more just because the weight it rests on the mirror just a little bit and you don't want to break your mirror. Let's get it all unloaded. Me and Will Fork here, he's got his Frisbee as always. He's the bestest boy. Well, I cut all of my wood with a uh, circular saw. That's all I have. I'm gonna get a compound miter saw, I think, for the next project, but uh, right now, this is what I got, so it's what I use. I always buy one tool each project. This project, I bought a second plan. So I have real limited tools and real limited space, so I make do with what I have. You don't need the greatest tools to make nice furniture, or nice enough furniture. I'm going to use my level to make sure everything lines up while the clamps hold it in place. I'll check everything with my triangle before drilling it all together. Um, I'm double check on my measurements just to make sure everything is square and we'll move along and put the center post in. Same story here, I check everything for square, double check my measurements, and pre-drill the holes. I don't want to split the wood going through it, even with self-tapping screws. The fascia, bench, and shelf are all going to be 1x6, 1x4. And I have one random piece of 1x12. I sand everything down with this handheld little orbital sander. So it was a good little buy. Uh, 120 grit. Before we start staining everything, I'll, I made sure to wipe it all down to get rid of the dust. To match the coffee table and entertainment center, it's a dark espresso and a colonial maple as the two colors. It's a simple wipe on stain. I don't have a garage, so I do it outside at the detriment of my back. I think some saw, saw horses are in my future. So the stain I use has a polyurethane in it, which means as long as that color is dark enough on the first go, this is a one-step process. Makes it real easy. It wasn't quite cured, so I had to wear my mask, um, but I made a custom spacer to ensure that all the gaps were exactly a quarter of an inch. The hardware I bought online, um, I got a couple of posts for the top of it and then three hooks for the front fascia so we can hang our jackets. A couple of quick screws later and this will all be done. I am really happy with how this piece came out. It matches the other two pieces I built in the living room. If you have any tips or tricks or any idea on how I should have done this, please leave those in the comments below. 
This project is 99% done, but I do want to add a cushion to the bench and my roommate sews really well, so she's gonna go ahead and upholster something for it. When that happens, I'll be sure to post pictures on my Instagram of it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Keep on creating, everybody.